Hey guys, it's Benjamin with Benjamin's Exotics, and I have a really cool video planned for you guys today. We actually had a pastel female bred to a spider male drop eggs today, and I am so excited to see what the results are. Now, she's a pretty small female, relatively. She just was past 1,500 grams when we bred her, and of course, she got up to, I think, 1,800 grams, maybe even close to 1,900 grams with eggs. And it looks like she dropped a relatively big clutch, much bigger than I thought. So, without uh, further ado, let's get straight into the video and sort of unveil this awesome clutch. So let's go ahead and actually open this girl up and I can just show you guys what's going on. So for those of you guys that saw the last egg pulling video, which was the Mojave female, who is currently right there, you can see on the tag, that girl we accidentally pulled a little bit too early and she still had an egg inside of her, which I do not want to do with this female. And man, these eggs are huge compared to what I thought, because you know, you can kind of see the shape of the egg inside. I don't think they're going to be this big, but it looks like we have... She's quarter around a few of them. She kicked those guys out. One, two, three, four. It looks like right now we have five eggs, but I can just smell. Something doesn't smell that good, and the one egg in the very middle looks really small from where I am. So we might have one slug, and she is not looking very happy. Um, but here's the thing. So if we actually look at her on the tail, she kind of wrapped it up, but her tail is really thin, and I have serious doubts that there is any um, eggs left in here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is set the camera up on a tripod and pull these eggs out again. I think this girl is 100% done, okay? There's nothing here that I can see that tells me she has any more eggs because all of this stuff right here is where her main organs and stomach are gonna be, which are not where the eggs are gonna be. And all throughout the, you know, kind of half part of her body where her sort of tail is, is completely flattened out. So we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, she's not looking too happy right now. She don't miss with her eggs. But we'll go ahead and set the camera up on a tripod and pull this girl out. I'm really hoping that that one in the middle isn't a slug because it's so small, but we're just gonna have to see so let's go ahead and set this camera up on a tripod and pull the eggs away from this girl Okay, so you guys should be getting a pretty good shot of these eggs and again I have no clue this female is always really nice But again when she's protecting her eggs, you don't really you know know too much about their temperament You know you can have the nicest female strike, but again, this is a ball python So I'm not too concerned, but let's see what she's gonna do So let's go ahead and come in here and just kind of touch her head down again. I really yeah, she's hissing girl I know I know I know oh come on I really don't want her to strike just because she could, you know, really, you know, jerk and damage those eggs. So I'm gonna reach around here, get her tail. Come on, girl. Come on. You're good. Okay. So she is emptied out. I mean, holy cow. So hopefully you guys can see she is really just emptied out. I mean, there are no eggs left in her, I'm sure. This girl really took a, I don't want to say a beating, but you can see really loose skin. So we're going to go ahead and get her set up in a clean tub. We'll wash this tub out and go ahead and take a look at these eggs. But I mean, you can see she is just emptied out and really, really thin from that clutch. Hopefully we're in focus. So again, let's get her in a clean tub right below. Man, girl, you did really good with these eggs, but unfortunately really took a lot out of you. So we'll go ahead and slide her into there. And then let's look at these eggs. So we have one, two, three, four, five good eggs, right? And yes, this is the first slug that I've ever produced. And it's, oh, come on. Come on. There we go. I, that's what happened last time. I need to slide this tub back in a little bit because we're at an angle and they're rolling. But I'm going to have to candle all these eggs, I'm sure. But we can actually show you guys really quick. I didn't have to candle this egg because I, I know that there's something uh, not going good with this one. So you can see all these eggs are big, nice, healthy, white. They look great. Very easy to see on that. Let's make sure the camera is, of course, in focus. There we go. So you can see all these eggs are really white. They look really nice. This little guy right here is just a slug, okay? It's very easy to tell. It's much smaller. It's discolored. It's like this, I guess, tannish brown color. It feels really hard, and this is no good. So this is completely infertile. No snakes will ever hatch out of this. So in this clutch, we got six eggs in total, but unfortunately, we did get one little slugger, which, you know, not too bad for a first-year female, but again, five nice big eggs. So let's go ahead and... And make sure these guys get candled. I have my little flashlight in my pocket. I'll show you guys how to do that. And we'll also just candle this egg just to show you guys that there's no vein work or anything in here. And then we'll get them set up in the egg box and put them right in the incubator. Okay, so let's take a look at these eggs. Again, for some reason, this clutch did not have much, I guess, um, 
sticky on the eggs at all. Normally the eggs will really adhere together and they'll have a bunch of sticky goop basically that'll stick them together. These eggs have none of that and they're just rolling all around. So we're gonna have to candle all of these eggs. And this is how they were probably originally laid. These guys went that way and some of these other eggs went that way. Uh, but again, there's that little slug. So let's go ahead and turn the lights off and we can candle these guys and I can show you guys that these should all have good vein work and this will have none. Okay, so that's about the best I'm gonna do with lighting. Maybe we can, you can see these guys are just rolling all around. Let's kind of slide these over. So I have my little handy dandy uh, pin that has a flashlight on the end of it as well. So let's go ahead and see these eggs and I can kind of show you guys what we're looking for. So um, on this egg, again, I'm just showing you guys the vein work. I'm gonna have to go through and check and make sure the embryo is at the top. But on that egg, you can see the vein work. That egg, you can really see the vein work and that kind of dot right kind of over there is gonna be the embryo. Really nice vein work on that one. Really nice van work on that one, and really nice van work on that one. Now, if we look at this egg, you can see we shine it in. All you see is yellow compared to all those veins. So this again, I, I, you can just tell by the look of it that it's a slug, but that kind of shows you guys that there is absolutely no veins or fertility inside of this egg. Okay, so we've gone ahead and put all these guys into their egg incubating tub. Again, we're just using the perlite on the bottom and then kind of this egg crepe sort of type thing uh, that they're gonna sit on. So again, five nice, big, beautiful eggs. We turned them so the embryo is on the top. They all have great vein work and you can see I've put this little Q-tip kind of fence going around them so they don't roll around when we put them in the incubator. So again, hopefully all those guys do go full term and make it. Hopefully in about 60 days we'll be hatching out some some awesome bumblebee ball pythons, which again are the pastel and the spider combo. So we've got those guys in the incubator right there. Let's go ahead and check on mom again. I don't know how good of a shot we got when I took her off the eggs, but mom really has had a lot taken out of her. Nope, oh, wrong tub. This tub right here uh, is mom, and you can see she is skinny, skinny. I mean, this snake, most people look at this snake and be like, oh my gosh, dude, you must be abusing your ball pythons if they didn't know she just laid eggs, you know? Because this girl is like, really looking bad skinny, so you can see she is completely empty, all that loose skin. It's just really, you know, it's, it's natural, but it really looks horrible, and you know, to see your females like this is really kind of hurt you as a keeper slash breeder. But um, we're gonna go ahead and start this girl off on small, small meals over the next, you know, one and a half, two weeks, probably with like a smaller than small rat, okay, live. And then we'll work her way up back to mediums because I mean, you can just see, this is not a girl that's gonna be taking mediums right off the bat. But again, so what we have to do now, is go ahead and I'm gonna actually F10 this kind of rack drawer. We'll actually move probably the cinnamon down to this drawer, okay? We're gonna completely just bleach out F10 that tub down to get all of that egg smell out because if you don't, these females actually won't go on to food and start eating again if they think that they need to, you know, incubate and wrap around their eggs. They'll just be searching for their eggs the whole time and they'll get stressed out. So what we have to do is clean that. We'll put her back in her enclosure in about two weeks. We'll offer her first meal which again will be a very, very, very small, small rat. So overall, I hope you guys did enjoy and benefit from today's video. Again, pretty good clutch, especially for that female. Again, she was not that big, just over 1,500 grams when we bred her. And with five good eggs, and actually very big eggs like that, and just one slug, I could not be happier with that clutch. So give it about 55, maybe even 60 days, depending on how long it takes in incubation. We'd be seeing some awesome, really clean and pretty bumblebees in the future. Could you guys do a few quick favors before we go? Could you guys go down and make sure to smash that like button and also hit that big red subscribe button as well if you are new to the channel. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave all of those down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.